Welcome back to Gadget Girls. Janelle, this next story is one that made headlines. Am I right? Yes, you are. Actually, I had the chance to meet up with Ariel Garten from Interaxon. And this forward-thinking company designed a thought-controlled computer installation that let the audience at the 2010 Winter Olympics in Vancouver control the light displays directly on the CN Tower in Toronto. It was amazing. That sounds like an incredible experience. Let's take a look and see how this company is connecting your brainwaves into controlling computer software. Have you ever been sitting on the couch wishing you could change the channel without getting up and getting a remote or getting up and pushing a button? Well, soon that day is going to be here. I'm here with Ariel, who is the CEO of Interaxon, and they are working on thought-controlled computing. Yes, thought-controlled computing, it is here. We can think, and the computer will do what we are thinking. Ariel, this is, this is a mind-boggling concept. What are you doing that can let us think and have the computers do what we're thinking? So I've developed the technology with the help of my amazing partners, Chris Amini, our chief technologist, and Trevor Coleman, the head of operations. And how we do it is by reading people's thoughts. How do we do that? With the headset. With the headset. So this allows you to read the brain waves that come off of people's heads. Okay. So brain waves are generated because our mind communicates electrically. Mm -hmm. Neurons send electrochemical signals back and forth, and over those trillions of little neuronal communications at any point in time, you create a larger electrical signal that you can read outside the head. This picks up the different waves that are created using those electrical signals. We've got sensors on the inside, sensors on the forehead, reads your frontal lobes, grounds on the ears, tells our computer what's going on in your mind. It's reading your brain waves, whether you're in beta or in alpha. We have other systems that work even more specifically. So you train the system in a particular brain pattern when you think on or off, or push or pull, or up or down. And whenever you repeat that brain pattern again, asking the system to go on, it'll do so. So the system can actually learn from the way my brain emits signals. You've got it. I know that your company is a world leader, an expert in this field. What are, what are some of the things you're actually doing with this right now? Well, we did a big project at the 2010 Vancouver Olympics where participants from all over the world can control the lights on the CN Tower, the Parliament Buildings, and Niagara Falls just by thinking. So they're That's in incredible. Vancouver, 3,000 kilometers away, controlling parts of distant Canada in real time. So we've created video games that you can play just mm -hmm. by thinking. We've created chairs that will levitate with your thoughts. That's so wonderful. you can raise and lower your chair with your mind. Um, we create these multi-sensory feedback systems that allow you to control audio, visual, and other sensory information like vibrotactile. Uh, around the world, people are creating systems that will work in your car so that it can know your state when you're driving and keep you attentive if you're beginning to drift off. People are using it in education to allow kids to focus and anti-ADHD uh, experiences. Okay. Uh, how does the system work? Can I, can I try it out? Can we sure. see how this works? This is your brainwave. Oh, look, brainwave. I'm talking. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Link. That's your blink. All right, stop blinking. And blink. There you go. That is cool. And, and this system is connected to the chair. Yes. So uh, what we do is we're a solutions provider in the thought-controlled computing space. Mm -hmm. And we create custom solutions for people looking to integrate thought-controlled computing into their products, services, etc. Now, you were just focusing on me as, <laughs> as I was explaining this to you. And, and what and happened? And the sound is yep. up. So this line, which indicates your brain state, mm -hmm. went very high, indicating that your beta waves are really high because you're paying attention. Oh, that's good. So we create these multi-sensory response systems. You notice the sound increase, telling you that you're really focused right now and your beta is really high. You're also going to notice that there's a vibration in the back of your chair. And now that you sit back, what happened? You just sat back, and as you did it, you kind of relaxed, and we hear the sound slowing down, and you're probably going to start to feel some vibration in your bottom, letting you know that you're going to be dropping into alpha state. Now, you can use this information as a control signal. So by controlling your alpha or beta, mm -hmm. we take that information off the sensors, send it into our computers, and program it to do whatever you want. In this case, give you 
visual feedback. Again, you're paying attention to me. <laughs> so it's gone back up. And the <laughs> it's sound's gone back increased. up. Visual feedback, auditory feedback, and vibrotactile. You could, you could actually use this for whatever you wanted. Yeah. That's fantastic. Well, thank you, Ariel, for showing this to me. My um, pleasure. So, uh, other than current technologies right now, and it seems that the system can be used for just about anything, where do you actually see this system going? How is it going to integrate in our lives down the road? So ultimately, this is going to be the way that we engage in the world on a daily basis. So anything that we control now by pushing a button or voice activating will be controlled in the future quite readily by thought. You're probably going to have a system where you walk into your house, the door will know that you're approaching so it's going to open for you. You enter into it, you have a preferred temperature for your home, you're going to ask for it when you arrive. Probably just by thinking, you'll think, oh, it's kind of cold in here, and the system will respond by warming it up. You'll enter into a room, the lights will turn on. You'll want to watch your television, or you'll want your stereo to turn on, mm -hmm. so you're going to think it. You don't like what's playing. You're going to focus on what's going on. The volume's going to go up. This is the future world where it responds to you. Thank you very much for talking to us. This was mind-boggling, absolutely mind-boggling. Sounds like science fiction. It does. But it's real and it's here. Mm -hmm.